So, <laughs> listen, they don't know that God is aware of that rejection, that betrayed, that they caused you to go through. <laughs> listen, be aware because the, what, the stone that the builder rejected can also end up become the chief cornerstone. Listen, many people who have rejected you, abandoned you, forgotten you, have fully come to realize that they make the worst mistake. Because even in that your rejection, even in that your difficulties, even in that your delay, God is aware of everything you are going through. Now, majority of people up there are shocked of everything. They are absolutely were devastated, wounded, because they have fully come to realize one thing, that in that your world difficult time, that God is still marvelous with it. That in that your delay, in that your pain, in that betrayal they cost you, they put you through, that God is involved. <laughs> because they can see the testimony of our life. The testimony of my life. People we see, they will hear the testimony of our life. Oh, people we hear, they will see and the testimony of our life. So what am I trying to say is this. People who have left you, people who have put you in difficult time, have fully come to realize that the chief, that the block, that the stone, that what that the builder rejected have now become the chief cornerstone. <laughs> God, how will I say this? What word will I use to you know, will I use to and elaborate on this? I'm here to tell you, brothers, people who have left you, who have betrayed you, who have rejected you, are now regretting every single thing that they have made. They are now regretting why they ever messed up with you. They are now regretting why they ever do you wrong. They are now regretting why they ever did you that which they have done you. Because they never believe that it will end up like this. They never believe that rising up against you, rising up against you, the will of God in your life, betraying you that God have glory to take from it. <laughs> you know, some people think that that you're done for, that God, eh, 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 there is nothing that God wants from it. Now they are fully come to realize that God is involved. God is involved. Messiah is involved in that delay. Messiah is aware of that word, that attack. Messiah is aware of that difficult time. Messiah is aware of that betrayed. Messiah is aware of that rejection. Messiah is aware of that disappointment. So that is why a lot of people who have do, who have done you shit are now what regretting why they did what they have done. Because they can see the great light. They can see the light of God shining from far. <laughs> Listen, when Herman, you know, the reason why I love talking about Herman is because it's something so devastating. It's something so unbelievable that after everything that Herman has did perfectly, set up, evil, you know, all those sort of things, but he's still dead there to witness the Rengemaru and the systematic ways of God arrangement. <laughs> hey God, what am I trying to tell you is this. Many people who have disqualified you, who have already made up their mind as Herman did. Herman disqualified everyone. He said, who else do we do what we find favor in the sight of King? Imagine what they think. Imagine their thought. So what am I trying to say is this, many people who, <laughs> many people who have messed up with you are now secretly regretting why they did so. Because they never believe that God can walk silently, mysteriously, as accidentally, uncreditably, imaginably, like that. 
They never believe that God can walk automatically like that. Because all their mind said was that, ah, that you're done for. They did it perfectly. That God will, maybe God turned you, your, his face from you. Maybe God rejected you. Maybe you have offended God. Or maybe God is not watching you anymore. That is why you encounter that delay. Not knowing that God wants to use it to catapult you, to elevate you, to turn you to, uh, to, to that elevator that goes slow, 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 slow to the top. Because God don't walk in a way that is so fast and fall. He do it slowly that you will never be able to fall down. So what am I trying to tell you, choosing one? God is aware. And that is why many people are mad. Because they can see the brightness of God from far. They can see how God is doing it. Many of them are shocked because God is aware, is involved. They, can, they are not figured out that God pushed them to do what they have done. Just believe me. Listen, do you think that God is not a God of confusion? Our God is a God of confusion. It's a God that do it, that, how will I say it? It's a God that turn page to become what? Pages. It's a God that Turn history to become histories. It's a God that turn habitant to become what habitants. What am I trying to say is this: God, our God, is a God of mystic. He do mystic. What when I mean our God is a God of mystic? He 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 make our enemy to think that that mystic which we did. We end up being the end of our world, of our world, of our life. Not knowing that when God was allowing that mistake to occur, He is taking glory in time to come from it. Look at the life of Job. Job. Many people were mocking Job, laughing at Job, but they don't know that that confusion, that accident, that drama, that God has something to receive from it. Oh, change the God, oh, change the God. Oh, change your God, oh, change your God, don't oh, change your God. Jehovah, oh, change your God. Oh, change your God, oh, change your God. Hey, oh, change your God, oh, change your God, oh, change your God. So, what am I trying to tell you is this many people up there are unhappy because of the fact that God. Have turned your rejection. God have turned your disappointment. God have turned your betrayed. God have turned your your frustration. God have turned your anxious. God have turned your 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 your, your loneliness into His glory. <laughs> glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hosanna, 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 blessed be the name of the Lord. So many people are mad at you because God is taking glory from all that they have put you to go through. And when God takes the glory, he gives you blessing. <laughs> because he said his glory he share with no man. So God is taking glory while he's giving you blessing. And some of them are like, he, he, he's collecting blessing every day. He's great, he's great. We, we, we thought he's going to end the pain. We thought he's going to end the frustration. We thought he... <laughs> it's pissing them. It's really pissing your enemy off. Why? Because not the way they expect it will be the way it is right now. And that is why they are unhappy. Because everything is taking them. Everything is shocking them. You know what I'm saying? And that is why they are not happy. Remember blessed? May God bless you.